watching the pros do the thing. Well, there's only one pro, really. That's JR. Welcome back to an open challenge. I'm Neil Hartman. Jeremy Roenick and Jimmy Rollins finished off their match with Jay Wright and I on the 15th green. But on the 16th tee, Jimmy was anxious to watch his partner close out his round. Five birdies, one under on a day. Man's doing it. Got on this Tiger Woods red too. Jeremy just missed a long birdie putt on the par 4 16th and tapped in for par. Oh my God. So he remained one under on his round through 16 holes. The par 3 17th is one of Marion's signature holes. It'll play as long as 246 yards at the U.S. Open, and Jay delivered the shot of the day for the team. Oh! Look at this. Get up, baby, oh, get, get up! up. Get Look at this. this. Yeah, get up! Yeah! Yeah! Get that on television! Did we get that? Get that on get television! That? You're, the man. You're the man for getting it. <laughs> that was the shot of the day by anyone <laughs> prior to based, based on talent level. Oh my based gosh. On talent. I'm taking my mat. I'm going, man. No, <laughs> that's the shot of the day. Let's go. Isn't it amazing that this game could be that bad all day and then hit a shot like that and it feels so good? The attention quickly turned back to Ronick, who had this par putt to stay under par for the day. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He headed to the 18th tee box with Jeremy at even par. This dude hasn't hit a bad shot all day. The 18th is an outstanding finishing hole. That's perfect. Come on, baby, you're even. We need a birdie. Need Come on, baby. On the hardest hole. On the hardest hole, let's go. It's only 500 yards, par four, let's go. A par four that can play as long as 521 yards. This hole was made famous by Ben Hogan's one iron. <laughs> it helped him win the 1950 U.S. Open. J-Roll brushed up on that bit of history before Jeremy hit his second shot down the fairway, out of the rough. This rough is wicked. Jeremy needed to get up and down for par to finish with an even par 70. Great shot, great shot. His third shot left him with a par putt from the fringe to finish an even par for the day. Oh, get there. Come on, get there. God, I thought it was gonna be a lot faster than that. Went over. Thank you, buddy. The match. Coach. Everything Coach. goes Coach. to you. I don't know. Everything goes yeah. to you. Yeah. Nearly. Good job, man. Go on, let's down, partner. Go Phillies, man. Go Phillies. Jeremy had to settle for a 71. Not bad. What an incredible round on a United States Open golf course. So the Open Challenge has come to an end, and the overall winner, without a doubt, is Jeremy Roenick, a 1 over 71. What did you bogey 18 for? I bogeyed 18. It was. Uh, it's a long hole. I think. People watching this Open Championship nice. have to realize how far this hole is with rough that is so deep. I don't see any any birdies in 18 this week. Well, I'll tell you what, it was a lot of fun to watch you play. What about his round? It was. It was. Uh, I think it helped me and Jerrell just just watching him. It was like uh, it was like getting a lesson for 18. Right? Free coach. <laughs> he can, yeah, free, free coach. Free coach. Didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> just you know couple That's on true, though, because in the middle of the round, he went to you and he gave you a few tips. And your game significantly changed once he gave you those tips. Yeah, it definitely kept my uh, ball from going as far left as far right to stand on the, uh, basically on my backside, keeping that knee from getting outside of my foot. The rotation w was a lot easier. It, it became more consistent. And obviously, when you play a game of golf, everybody wants to be consistent. I want to like play with guy. him. I want to play with him when he's done with baseball season. Because when he's done with baseball season, he is going to be striping that ball right down the middle. Yeah. But we don't want J-Roll talking about golf. You hear all that explanation of a golf swing? We don't want that right now. No. There's a day off Just today. think baseball. Just, just, just turn it all out of yeah. your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Out of this, your mind right this, now. this was a, an, an escape. How much of an appreciation, J-Roll, do you have for what these guys will be facing once the Open starts? Uh, it's, it's a tough course. And it's about accuracy, choosing the right clubs, being smart, not being greedy. It's, it's not too much you can really go for. Of course, when the competition's up there, you see the leaderboard and somebody wants to take the lead, you're going to be forced to do things that you probably wouldn't do, but the smart player will keep it within, you know, reach. Like Jared told me, you don't want to give away too many holes. You might give away one, but if you keep it there, you can always make that back. You can't have an ego here. You, you, you can't try to hit uh, big time shots. You've you got to stay consistent. You cannot be out of the fairway. There's a lot of greens. I know JR was saying, we, I, can't, I can't go for the pin here. I've got to go for the middle of the green. You, 
it's it's going to be it's going to be fun for us after playing here, watching yeah. these guys compete here. This is the toughest course that I've ever played on. It was fun. J. Roll, Jimmy Rollins, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Jeremy Roenick, another Jr. Thank you very much. J. Wright, thank you very much. And thank you also for joining us here on Open Challenge. We we'll look forward to seeing you during our coverage all week long on the U.S. Open. Thanks for watching.